welcome to Comfy's Kitchen. Today we're making a dessert. These delicious chocolate fig bites. They are so scrumptious, you're not gonna believe it. They truly are the hit of every party. Look how beautiful you guys. And I finish them with flaked sea salt, so when you pop them in your mouth, you get that yummy, yummy burst of salt. It's fantastic. Let me show you how easy they are to make. So in here, I already have 15 ounces of dried mission figs. Let me show you how I got them ready, all right? It's super easy. You just take a small little knife and you're just gonna nip the end off right here. Just nip that off and then cut it into force and then drop it right in. And then again, just nip it, cut. You see, it's really simple. It's not a big deal at all. Just nip and cut. All right, that's it. So there's 15 ounces in here. Then we're just gonna take two tablespoons of room temperature water, pour it right in. And then we're gonna do two tablespoons of almond butter, okay? Not peanut butter, almond butter. And just put this right in here. All right, simple. Then we're just gonna pulse it. Let me get this on. And we're just gonna give it a pulse. All right, you guys, when you see it get into this, like a ball shape, you're finished, all right? Now, the best part, it's so much fun, you guys. We're actually gonna make these little fig bites and we do them in the palm of our hand. Let me show you. You just take a teaspoon and just put a teaspoon size in the palm of your hand. And you just roll it in the palm of your hand and then just stick it down, that's it. And then we'll do another one here. Just take a little bit, roll it around. Super fun, you guys. And just put it down. It's like we're making bonbons, right? Now, if you happen to get, let me show you, if you happen to get too much fig, right, let's show you, like, oh, that ball's too big, it's not a problem. Just take a pinch, put it back in, reshape it with your hands, and put it down. That's it, super easy, you guys. Okay, we have our fig bites already rolled and ready to go, so let's get the chocolate going. Let me tell you what I have so far. So I have this pan right here, and I have it filled with water about to here. What you don't want to do is have the bottom of your glass bowl touching the water. You want that space there. And bring it up to a boil and let it get rolling. Then we're going to drop our chocolate in. This is one cup of semi-sweet chocolate chips and then two teaspoons of grapeseed oil. I'm just going to pour it right in. And then what we're going to do is just let this melt. Just going to sit there and let this melt and that's it. And then when it's melted, we're going to move on and coat the big bites. It's super fun. All right, our chocolate's melted, so we're gonna drop the fig bites in now. This is so much fun, you guys. It's like I'm making candy, I love it. Well, I am. Then I just drop, I try to drop three in at a time, and then I just roll it around with these uh, two forks, is how I need to do it. And then once I get it covered, you just gently pick it up with a fork, scrape it off, and then gently just slide it down like that. And then get the next one tossed up, make sure they're all really pretty. I just slide it off the fork, and then one more. <laughs> okay, and then we're gonna slide it off. Then we're gonna top it with our Maldon flaky sea salt. Just top it just like that. All right, and now we're gonna drop three more. And that's it. Then I just continue working in batches of three. That's all I do. Okay, you guys, I've now finished coating all of the fig bites in the chocolate and topped them all off with the Maldon sea salt. The next step is you take the tray and pop it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes. What's really good to know about this wonderful uh, dessert is you can make it a week in advance. They're perfect. You can make it way ahead and you're ready to go. Also, it pairs beautifully with my Fritch 75 cocktail, which I'll put a link to right up here. And it's a champagne-based cocktail. Talk about a party. This is all you need. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. I hope you subscribe to my channel and watch the other fun videos. Thanks so much for joining me in Kobe's Kitchen. Bye, you guys.